Okay, guys, God bless you guys, and welcome to This Is It Before the Fire. Christ, his purpose was to make one new man from the two, thus making peace. Okay, so let's talk for just a moment. Okay, the video I did yesterday or the day before, whatever it was, I think it was yesterday, I was pissed. I'm so sick of seeing this satanic agenda right out in front of everybody. The Vatican is a snake. A building that's supposed to be the largest church in the world that's Christian is a freaking snake wearing a crown. Let that sink in. Okay, I'm being the delivery guy that the Lord chose to do this. I'm getting really annoyed at the level of sick, twisted, in your face face mocking bulls mocking bs i've ever seen in my life it is such an insane mockery and to see shakira sliding down her pole with all these dudes in white reaching up like sperm and then standing on a stage that's the symbol for female with an upside down cross and the whole thing falling out representing a total phallus entering into a female and the whole cavern caving in into the bottomless pit, going to a hive with a, with a bunch of little girls in eggs waiting to be fertilized. If that doesn't piss you off, I don't know what would. Yeah, so I was a little bit pissed off in yesterday's video. Go watch it again and rewind what I just said. It's a stage, a stage that was built for a halftime show with Shakira sliding down a pole like a pole dance in a strip club with a bunch of dudes reaching up in their white outfits representing semen and then the entire stage falls out like the bottomless pit with all the waters flowing into it representing like just like Genesis 1 and the spirit of Elohim moved over the semen. I mean, do you know how insane that is? I'm, I just don't know if you guys know. Do you know how insane that is? You literally just saw a half bowl super time, I, I mean, uh, a Super Bowl halftime show that is a representation of the pit opening by using the semen that they got angels trapped into their system to open the pit. That's what that was. And I used it, I proved it using all their symbology. When I say I proved it, let me, let me rephrase that. The Lord used me to prove it. And he's allowed me to prove it with all the data and the Bible, with Ezekiel. Okay, now it's proven over and over and over again. Okay, so now what I'd like to do for this video for you guys is I want to give you the scriptures, again, that prove your angels. I'm going to do the scriptures that were at the end of the video last night, and I'm going to like be a little more, a little more calm, a little more calm than yesterday. And just show you these scriptures that are pure platinum gold that open your mind and your heart so you can understand and you can turn back to God and be saved. Turn back. Look up. That's why it says look up when you look up. Supian positions. See, we pray with our hands up. The world prays with their hands down or folded, making a triangle. See it? When I was Catholic, they all prayed like this. Imagine all the rows of people all these triangles going on. If you're up at where the the priest is looking at the, all the rows of people praying, all you see are a bunch of these all down all the pews. That's all you see. We're told to pray in a supient position with your palms up, looking up from whence you came. We came from heaven, guys. The big trick is that, oh, you think your body is who you are. It's not who you are. Who you are is what you do and how you... what. You know, the choices you make, that's your essence. Who you are is, is not your body. Okay. Now, I want to show you the scriptures, but first, I want to show you, I did a, I'm going to show you the platform, the Kleck Files. I did a video called The Sun Rising in the West, The Antichrist Unveiled. You got to go watch it. I'll show you where to go watch it. Um... Then I want to show you Joe Biden and Barack signing this little health care addendum, whatever. Total nonsense. Jean Psaki, all, Jen Psaki, all she was doing was running interference for Obama going over there and talking about stuff. Because those guys, I, if you don't think that, you know, the, the guy 
uh, Lightning from Heaven. I'll just keep his name as Light. If you don't think Lightning from Heaven is the one running the show over there, you're completely wrong. But all you got to do is watch this video and you'll know it's true. And then listen to Jin Saki and what she's saying. Why would Jin Saki say, and I would note, that Barack and, and uh, Mr. Biden will be discussing things like they do, do all the time. Why is she saying that? Why does she need to make a note of it? And I would also note, that's what she says. We're going to watch the video. I would also note that President Biden and Barack Obama, they meet all the time like they have. Because they're real friends. They're not Hollywood friends. Or they're not DC friends. I'm sorry, Hollywood. They're not DC friends. Like, because DC friends stab each other in the back. Watch Obama hanging out with Biden, totally shunning the guy. I mean, if if you think Barack Obama and Biden are friends, then God have mercy, you've never had a friend. <laughs> you've never had a good friend. <laughs> because this is you way you treat somebody when you just want to give them the bird. And you just like I just can't stand you. That is the that is the the demeanor of Obama towards Joe Biden. He can't stand him. And if you can't tell from this video, then you can't tell at all. Okay, I'm going to show you that real quick, and then I'm going to give you all the scriptures right up front here. And that's that's what I'm doing right now. So let's do it. Okay, here we go. Let's pause it and let's do it. show you an event that occurred in the White House last night. It was an anniversary event for a health care bill that was passed during the Obama years. So it involved former President Obama, the current Vice President Kamala Harris and the current President Joe Biden in the White House. Have a listen to the former President here. Vice President Biden. <laughs> Vice President. <laughs> that was a joke. Yeah, he says it was a joke, but uh, maybe Joe Biden is just rather forgettable in his current role. Have a look at this footage of the president wandering around the room, working the room, as you would say, in the White House. It's quite extraordinary. The real worry here is just watching him at this function. Kamala Harris and Barack Obama are busy talking to everyone and shaking hands, and Joe Biden is just left hanging. He appears lost and uncertain, and not only that, he appears to be ignored. A US president you can ignore. It's hard to believe, isn't it? Have a look at some more. OK, I'm going to pause that for a sec. Now let's watch Jin Saki talk about how what great buddies they are real quick. Before the event, Jin Saki is talking about what great buddies Barack and um, Biden are and that they'll be meeting just like they used to meet all the time. As just a side note, I think you all should know it. I'm just letting you know because we don't want you to think it's weird that Barack's over there telling him what to do all the time. Oh, hint, hint. Okay, here we go. This will be the first time former President Obama returns to the White House since leaving office. This will be the first time former President Obama returns to the White House since leaving office. So tomorrow they'll announce more steps. I'll also note, uh, as they did uh, every week when uh, President, former President Obama was president and President Biden was vice president, that's a mouthful, um, they will have lunch tomorrow as well as they used to do on a weekly basis. I would note they continue to talk regularly. They are real friends, not just Washington friends, and so I'm sure they will. We'll talk about events in the world on a basis. I would note um, they will have lunch tomorrow as well as they used to do on a weekly basis. I would note they continue to talk regularly. They are real friends, not just Washington friends, and so I'm sure they will talk about events in the world as well as their families and personal lives. This was the scene at the White House today. Take a careful look at this. You've never seen anything like it.
That's the president of the United States in his own house, shunned. Nobody would talk to him. So Biden wandered off looking vacant as a crowd formed around a former president, Barack Obama, who was obviously deeply grateful for the attention. And then it got worse. It got much more poignant than that. Watch Biden try to horn in on the conversation swirling around Obama. Everyone involved in that conversation, including Kamala Harris, who supposedly works for Biden, ignored Biden completely. Biden desperately tried to get Obama's attention. He puts his hand on Obama's shoulder. He even calls him Barack, like they're friends. But Obama blows him off. He acts like Biden's not even there. Ask yourself if you have ever in your life seen anything sadder than this. Make it stop. It's awful. Note, they continue to talk regularly. They are real friends, not just Washington friends. And so I'm sure they will talk about events in the world as well as their families and personal lives. Okay. You know, we're allowed to make critical observations and how completely full of crap some people are. I mean, that's just a critical observation. Jin Saki, she is so full of it, it's insane. It's literally insane. But yesterday's video, I showed you that in a stadium at a football game, they did an occultic ritual showing a pole dance with Shakira spinning in a circle down while she's surrounded by guys in, a, in white costumes representing sperm. And she stands on a circle that collapses around the perimeter and it falls into the pit like a penis also in a vagina. And the whole stage is in the shape of the symbol of a female with a circle with an upside down cross and the upside down cross going to a nest of new female eggs. And that's what I've been showing you the whole system is. One eye goes down to the pit. One eye goes up to the stars in the sky because we are the stars. The Lord proved it. Okay, no, yesterday I was so just jacked up. I was like, freak out. <laughs> yeah, of course, I was just freaking out. It's like, dude, that's insane. I did a video called The Sun Rising in the West, The Antichrist Unveiled. Let me see if I can show you where to go see it. Okay, so listen, you guys really should watch this video now on another platform. Let me show you what to do. Watch. So go open a new window. So here's a new window, right? I'm going to type in collect files, right? K-L-E-C-K. Collect files right here. So you go to collect files. Homepage, www.collectfiles.com. Click on that. Then go over here and click on see a home page, videos, playlists. So go to text right here and type in W-E-S-T. And then it'll bring up, when the sun rises over the west, the beast is unleashed. The Antichrist unveiled the sun rising in the west. So you click on that and then it'll bring it up right here and you can play it. You know, you can watch it right here. Um, this had... I don't know how many millions of views, six, seven million views. Um, let me just make sure. There it is. Here is an image of Akhenaten. Okay, so right there, I just showed you how to watch the Antichrist unveiled. Okay, now just go watch it. You need to go watch it. Okay, now, remember, they're not just Washington friends. They're real good friends. Don't forget it. Okay, now, let me show you the scriptures. I got some scriptures for you that the Lord gave me the other day. Remember, we had a meeting at the Ark. Uh, it's called A Night Under the Stars. And my mission uh, with the Ark and all that the Lord had me purposed for the Ark is fulfilled. Um he wanted a place to put the shipping containers that would bear witness to the ministry that the Lord's given me. 
those shipping containers were at the corner of uh, Rainbow and Casimir. Rainbow uh, is a covenant God made with Noah. And then Casimir, uh, Isaiah 54, and I, as I was with my servant Noah, so shall it be with you. I will make with thee a covenant of everlasting peace. His purpose was to make one new man from the two, thus making peace. So that's why I'm the guy to show you this all the time. Well, it's actually this, two ups. Anyway, so the Lord made sure that those those containers that represent the bride of Christ and the judgment seat of Christ were sitting at a place that was named the Ark. I did not name it. It had nothing to do with its inception, nothing. I did have a lot to do with uh, keeping it up and running, but at this point... Uh, I have other things that are on my plate and I'm no longer focused on anything over at the ark because we had our meeting that was the night under the stars, which was something that had to happen. So I could show you that the other eye in your eye in, in your head. So when you get converted and your eyes become single, that's when you become angel status again. That's when you're converted. You're converted from what? You're converted from death from the beast system back to singularity holy spirit in christ inside a host body so you've been converted now when your eyes become single and your whole body's full of light okay bible says if the light if the light be in you be at the light that in you be darkness how great is the darkness okay so let me show you these scriptures let's go to special projects um Special projects two and this this folder right here. I want to show you how to get to it. So if you go to special projects two and you can go to this is the end right here. It's called right here is the URL show notes info slash for this is it. The end. This is the end. I'm sorry. Right here. Just type this in. If you want to find it on the web, just type this in right here that I'm highlighting. So you type that in. That will bring up this page you're looking at. Click on Special Projects 2. Go right over here to the New Serpent folder right here. Here's where those scriptures are. And the Lord had me populate this page with the reality that here's the end of the world. The female host body was used to produce a race of locusts in the pit. And that's what's on the Shakira that's what's on the Shakira um, halftime show is showing the system, the methodology in which they did that. It's pretty wild that um, during the halftime show, they literally showed the pit open. It's, I mean, it's phenomenal. They, they gave you a glimpse of what the real system really is. And so it showed the girl, and she was upside, she leaned her head upside down, all the semen grabbing at her, and then the sides fall out around the stage, and it opens the pit, all the water is flowing in. The Bible says, and the spirit of Elohim moved over the semen, water, semen, shows all the waters flowing down into the pit, representing our, our, our substance going down into the pit. And then after she does her dance, it shows all these little girls in eggs that make hexagrams. Do you get it? That's very disturbing. That's why I was, I was just, just pissed yesterday. Just like I've seen enough of these rats mocking God's people. I've seen enough of it. I'm sick of it. Uh, I do want the Lord to come set things right. It's like enough's enough, man. This is disgusting. So anyway, yeah. So the system they showed yesterday and the video I did yesterday was just appalling. So now let me show you the scriptures without any more to do. Let's just get to this. So these are the scriptures the Lord showed me from Ezekiel. I'm against you women who hunt the souls of men to make your pillows fly. So here's here's like to make your pillows fly. Just picture what you're looking at. I'm against you women who hunt the souls of men to make your pillows fly. I'm against you women who hunt the souls of men to make your pillows fly. Think about what that image is I just showed you.